Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we've got five ounces to add to the guardhouse box from the Motherlode Mint. And this one is kind of special. Uh, my buddy AGAU Addict just added one of these and his had a special case and was toned and all that, but I think we might have different reverses. I'm not sure. This one uh, determines, or I guess the pan determines whether it's a variety or not, if it's got a full pan or just an outline of the pan. So let me get it out of this little sleeve and we'll see what we got. So we got it out of the package there and what a cool piece. And looks like, I don't know if it's ever been dipped or what, but looks a little gooey here <laughs> on the reverse, but the pan determines what type of variety it is. And so this one is a full pan. And let's see what reverse type this is. If we check out the good book here for a mother load mint, we can see that type four horizontal with the solid pan rim is what I've got. So type four, uh, here we are, Pony Express. There's two choices, both made in 1973. And it's either type three or type four reverse. I've got type four, which seems to be less rare. When it has a dollar value in this column, it means it's rarity index five. I'll explain a little more about that. I had a recent uh, inquiry or comment from uh, Dope Cat about Rarity Index 5, so we'll, we'll delve into that. Let's get this one into a capsule. Uh-oh. She's a little tight, but Motherload Mint normally fits in there, so very nice. And yeah, I don't know if it had been previously dipped. It seems a little juicy there, but it is what it is. So happy to add this one. And yeah, why not? We'll just, oop, gotta start a new row here. So these are all US Silver Corporation bars. And then, Got some Motherload Mint. I do have Motherload Mint in another guardhouse box. I'll join them up uh, with this group at some point. So next up is the Alamo. And there are some varieties involved with this one. Also based on the reverse. So let's get it out of here. Here we are out of the packaging and a little scuffed up. But remember the Alamo. And... This is a type four reverse, has the filled pan. We'll take a look at the good book here to confirm that. Again, looks a little like it's had some dipping or something, I don't know, but still happy to add this. I didn't pay, you know, like a premium or anything. These were in a, in a bin. Um, silver has gone up, of course. This one into a capsule here. Oh, that fits a lot better. Well, that's not, not very satisfying there, was it? It's in there. Let's get it in there. Here are the Alamo, different varieties, reverse variety. I've got type four again, but look at the mintage, only a thousand of the regular Alamo. So I'm guessing there's less of the varieties or is it a thousand total, who knows? Next up, we've got the famous Concord stage or Concord, Concord? Is that <laughs> Is it in Massachusetts? If it is, it's Concord. If it's anywhere else, it's Concord. Anyway, the famous Motherload Mint. And so again, we've got a Type 4 reverse. And 
Let's get it out of here and into a capsule. No squish at all. Hmm. I don't like that. All right, the good book has two versions, small letters and without one ounce. And then we've got large letters with one ounce. And so there is the one ounce right there. So I've got small letters without one ounce. And then the reverse type is four. So here we go, small letters, there's only two choices. So I've got the variety, rarity three, no, no mintage data. We can add that one next. Next up, I've got a duplicate here. I've already got, got a Labor Day bar, but do I have the same reverse variety? Let's check that out. Well, before we waste our time, it looks like there are no varieties. It's all type 3, which is what I saw there as the uh, type 3 is not filled in pen. Outline of a pen, whatever. Well, even though it's a duplicate, still happy to have it. And I think it might be a little bit nicer than the one I've already got. So let's add it to the box. Capsule here, that's a little better. So I can put it behind that one, or in front of that one actually. And here's my other Labor Day bar. And they're kind of similar, <clears throat> but we'll get those side by side, maybe. Fifth and final bar in today's session. This is a spring 1973. And what was attractive about this is the reverse. It's Koinorama City. And apparently there's a series called The Seasons. And Koinorama City, I don't know if they commissioned it or what, but they've all got this reverse with a serial number. So let's check the book. And you can see these were struck by Motherload Mint. And I do have that one that I referred to. But here we are, Spring, Motherload Mint 45. And there it is. And there's only a variety that's canceled. No serial number. Or oh, it does have a serial number, sorry. 2500 minted and then we've got rarity index or rarity value five with a $30 value there so let's discuss this rarity value and whether it's $30 plus spot price or if we just use these as relative prices so here is the rarity scale structure explained, and it says here, rarity five, all rarity five bars will be priced individually. The other ones mention that it's over spot. So I could buy into the fact that it might be spot plus the price that's listed, but for example, this one, if it says $30 plus spot, I'd, Certainly didn't pay $60 for this. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think I use it more as like a relative um, value. So if it's $40 versus $125, I know the one for the $125 is more rare. So it's a little bit tight to fit in there. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. We can get a, a head on straight down. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, we're not quite, uh, quite in there. The other coin around the city that I've got fits just fine. So let me see if I can jimmy it a little bit here off camera. Be back. I have it here. 
So yeah, got it uh, snugged in there, had to drop it straight down. So very cool. So we'll get that Coinorama City in. next to it. So that is going to be my Motherload Mint. Actually, I've got two more that I had um, previously. Got my New York bar here. <laughs> and we'll put that in. And the Prospectors. And that one's got a Type 4, and I'm inverted, actually. So this is a Type 4A reverse, but... I've already shown that off in another video. So I've added five ounces of Motherload Mint plus four that I had originally or previously. So we got nine. Happy about that. And thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.